adding the print size dimensions. On the left hand side click on product setup then prints, install products then print attributes. A list will then appear showing all existing print sizes. At the top of the screen click on add print. The print attributes window will then appear. Give the print size a unique name. Select a file type from the drop down list. Choose metric or imperial for your print size dimensions and add the width and height for the print size. Click on save when it's complete. Your new print size should now appear in the list. Adding retail attributes. Select product setup, prints, in store products, then retail attributes. To add a new product, select add detail. In the first text field, give the product a name, which can then be copied into the V7 product number. From the digital print drop down box, select the correct print size to output the product. Select Next. In the pricing information screen, you can select cost price, retail price, and tax rate in the first three fields, and use the section beneath to add and edit price breaks. The pricing calculator on the right can be used to check the pricing structure. Once the information has been entered, select Save to return to the main print size list. Activating the new product. From the left hand side, select Product Setup, then Product Profiles. From the main screen select Product Pool, then Master Profile, and the profile to be modified. From the main categories drop down box select Digital Prints. From the Filter By drop down box select Unselected. Find the print size to be added to the profile and check the box to make it active. Click Save Changes to complete the activation. Choosing the display location. Select Product Setup, Prints, then View Group Levels for Front End. The folder structure determines how the prints will be displayed on the kiosk front end. To add print sizes into the main display folders, drag and drop them as required.
The folder and subcategory folders can be added, removed or edited using the four edit buttons. Setting surface type options. On the left hand side select product setup, then add-on options, add-on options paper types, then paper types. Select the profile to be modified, highlight the paper surface, check it's active and then click on the edit button. In the edit paper type window, select digital prints from the main cat drop down box. Look in the list of print sizes below, find the print size and activate. The print size list can also be filtered by selected and unselected. Click OK and select Save Changes. Adding options for borders, index prints and CDs. On the left hand side select Product Setup, Add-on Options, Add-on Options Paper Types then add-on options. Select the profile to be modified, ensure the required add-on product is active, then select the edit button. In the edit option window, select digital prints from the main cat's drop-down box. These can be filtered by selected or unselected. Tick all the sizes required to include the add-on product as an option on the kiosk and click OK. Click on Save Changes and OK. Mapping print sizes to the frontier. On the left hand side select Head Office Configurations, then DCM Specific Settings, then Printer Links. On the right hand side select Channel Number Aliases. In the Select Main Category drop down box select Digital Prints. A list of print sizes will be displayed with the variations for paper surface and borders depending on the previous selections in Add-on Options. When you find the new print size in the list, the alias box will be blank. Double click on the alias box and add the information according to the print size, surface and priority. This information must be repeated for all the different variations of the print size. When all the information is complete, click on Save Changes. The channel alias format is as shown. The print size name must match the print size name in MS exactly. The paper surface would normally either be glossy underscore pix or luster underscore pix. The priority can be added where 1 is hold, 2 is standard and 3 is express. Use the pipe symbol to separate each section. After completing the admin tool setup, perform the data update procedure. Please see Imagine Kiosk Configuration Data Updates.